Hello, my name is Sue Ann Brightson and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today I will be showing you a couple of out-of-the-box settings for required fields that you may not be aware of. The first setting relates to required field indicators on field labels. We're going to go into our admin client, into our incident, and edit our form. On the incident overview form, you will notice that there are several required fields and those are indicated by an asterisk behind those fields. If you select on these fields, you'll notice that these are manually entered asterisks. There is a setting, however, that we can go to over in Business Object Properties, and that is Show Required Field Identifiers in Labels. So if we select that, select OK, go back to our form, we will save those changes. Now you'll notice on our form there are several of the required fields that have two asterisks. That is because we set that required field identifiers and labels checkbox to on and we still have our manual asterisk in there. So we'll go ahead and remove the double asterisk on those fields where it appears. And you might be saying to yourself, well, why doesn't it appear on the fields such as customer and service cl classification? The reason it doesn't show on those two fields is both of those fields are related item pickers and this indicator only works for fields that are not related item pickers. So you will still need to put the manual asterisk for the fields such as customer or service classification. So we're going to go ahead and save that so that we don't have double asterisks when we go back to our desktop client. When I am demonstrating to you the second setting and that second setting that we're going to talk about today is the required field custom error messages. So let's go over to our desktop client, take a look at our incident form. And on our incident form, as many of you may be aware, if I fill out my required fields, but maybe I forget one, I'm going to get an error message when I try to save, and it's kind of a generic error message. The field incident.priority must be filled in before the record can be saved. So we have a newer feature that was introduced in Sheryl Service Management version 10.0 that if we go over into our business object and in this case, because we're testing with our priority field, we'll go into our priority field properties and required for save, drop that down and notice there is a new field that you can select and put in a custom error message. So we'll just add a custom error message quickly. We'll select OK. Save our blueprint. And now we're going to publish our blueprint. And now that our blueprint's been published, we'll go ahead and close that, come back to our desktop client, reload our definitions. And we'll create a new incident. and do the same thing that we did on the other incident by filling in most of the required fields. And trying to save this time. And notice how the generic error message is no longer appearing, but we have the new error message that says priority must be filled in prior to saving this incident. And that is because we went into the desktop client and excuse me, the admin client, and we updated that error message to show the custom error rather than the out-of-the-box generic error. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you would like to learn more information about Beyond 20, 
please feel free to visit our website at beyond20.com. Thank you.